back, I quit my job as a product manager and decided to build playgrounds as a full-time career. Yes, you heard it right. Simple playgrounds with swings and slides for children to play. Now you will ask, why playgrounds? What is so special about them? Have a close look at each of these pictures and maybe you'll get an answer. This is a picture from the very first playground that we built five years back when I was still a student in college. Here we tried to bring music to the playgrounds by converting old oil drums and made a drumming set out of it. This image is from a, a small village in Telangana called Shangvi, where the entire village community came to build playgrounds with us. We had intended to make an outdoor library here, but children decided to use it in a different way. Well, <laughs> now we know why they are called monkey bars. So are you guys able to see a pattern in all of these images? Was there a similarity? They all had children. There were playgrounds which were made of recycled material. Very colorful. But the most important thing was the shine that you see in the eyes of these children. And that shine comes from being curious, being happy, and only when you're completely engaged in an activity. We often associate play with something which is very trivial. And that is exactly the mindset shift that we need to create. Stuart Brown, who is the founder of National Institute of Play, one of the world's best experts of play, he was studying criminals before he started his work on play. And the common pattern that he found in the childhood of all of these prisoners that he studies, studied was the lack of play, which led to lack of empathy. You will be amazed to see how powerful such a simple thing as play can be. I was when I spend time with children in these schools, uh, in the schools, I see how a child learns patience while they're waiting for their turn on the swing. They learn to overcome their fears by trying a more challenging play equipment, which they were initially scared to use. I've seen how they help each other climb those monkey bars. Most of the 21st century skills like negotiation, compromise, collaboration, problem solving, creativity, are learned outdoors in a playground setup. Playground is a place where we make friends. So far, we have built over 300 playgrounds across 18 states in India and uh, impacted over 200,000 children by building these playgrounds. But happy stories don't always have ha happy endings, right? Exactly one year back, with the onset of COVID-19 and the national lockdown in place, all the schools were closed, with no certainty of when they will open again. We all felt helpless, stuck inside our homes, but we wanted to initiate a change for better. Since we work very closely with the communities, we started COVID relief work. And during our relief work, um, when I was at one of the slum communities, we realized that children from low-income communities do not have any access to digital devices, and their learning had completely come to a halt. Imagine if we felt so stuck inside the four walls, how are these children who have immense energy in them would be feeling stuck inside? Um, so we decided that if children can't come out, we will take play to them. And from all of our learnings of building these playgrounds over the years, one thing that we had learned was to keep child at the center of any solution that we create. So our team went out, interacted with children to understand their needs and requirement. And um, they came up with this idea of giving a box full of games to children. The very first box version of this box that we did was we just bought a few games, these plastic games from the market, and gave it to students. They absolutely loved it. But after a few days, we observed that the problem of their, 
education coming to a halt um, with schools closures was not solved. So our team of designers got together and uh, we designed games which were customized and sustainable for the all-round learning of a child. And that gave rise to Play in a Box. Play in a Box is a very convenient way of children to learn and play in the safety of their homes while also having lots of fun. I remember one of the first distributions that we did, this child here, um, his name is Pawan. I was telling him how to play a game of dominoes and he says, no, Akka, not like this. And he made a tower out of it and he says, when I grow up, I'm going to become an architect I will, and I will build the tallest building in the world. While I was talking to this child, I saw that there was this another bunch of children who were using the same blocks to play a game of Zenga. There was this another bunch of kids who were making puzzles out of these uh, uh, blocks and asking their friends to solve it. A lot of times, we as adults have this tendency to tell children, don't do this, don't go there, so many don'ts that it limits their imagination. Our responsibility is to just create those learning environments and let children be children, giving the right nudges, um, giving them appreciation when they do something nice. Last month, I was just you know, observing how kids are using these playgrounds and this little girl here, she was trying to balance these coins on this wooden cat that we had built for her. She tried and tried. After almost 17, 18 unsuccessful attempts, she was able to balance it. And I just asked myself, how many times do we try before we give up on important things that we want to accomplish in our lives? There is so much that we can learn as adults from children. There was this another kid who was uh, accompanied by his mother and uh, she cheered her son every time he was able to balance these coins and she laughed well with him when the structure fell down without really telling him what to do, how to do it better. And the child was engaged for the longest time and learned to laugh at his failures. A lot of times we, when we tell children how to play, when we tell them exactly don't do this thing like this, but do it this way, we are taking away that opportunity from a child to explore it themselves. Research says that, um, research by uh, Lego Foundation says that 83% of the children learn better when learning is fun. 93% of children feel happy when they play with their parents. And if you are a pa parent, that is where your role comes. Parent is a child's first friend, first teacher. Home is their first school. And play is their first and most natural way of learning. So next time you're teaching your kid um, how to count, you can either ask them to recite numbers till they memorize and learn it, or you can just ask them to go count the number of toys that they have. They will learn counting in both ways. But in the second case, not only will they do it with more energy and enthusiasm, they will remember the method for long. And that is the power of play. Thank you very much. Thank you.